I'm Molly Weldon. I'm a third grade teacher at Flint Hill Elementary School, and we're going to learn about conjunctions today. The definition, conjunctions connect clauses or sentences. They really help add a variety to your stories. It makes your sentences flow. So let me show you some examples. And some examples of the words that join sentences are and, or, nor, but, for, yet, and so. Again, and, or, nor, but, for, yet, and so. So check this out. Abby doesn't like corn nor green beans. I could say Abby doesn't like corn and she does, and Abby doesn't like green beans, but I want to combine the two. Abby doesn't like corn, comma, nor does she like green beans. I can wash the dishes, comma, and you can dry them. Now we could have two separate sentences here, but we want to combine them to make the sentences flow better. I can wash the dishes, comma, and this is the conjunction, you can dry them. She was tired, comma, for the baby kept her up all night. Tired, comma, the conjunction is for. We could go to the park, comma, or, which is the conjunction, we can swim in the pool. We have two activities going on, but we're, we're combining them with a conjunction or and the comma here. Seymour didn't study, comma, so he didn't pass his test. We have the conjunction so, and we have the comma bef added before the so, and we have it flowing very well in one sentence. Now your activity is to create two sentences with one conjunction in each sentence, each one. Remember the comma, and you can always go back and look at the conjunctions, and, or, nor, but, for, yet, so. Combine two sentences together using one of the conjunctions. And you can upload your materials, your work, to weldon.molly at newton.k12.georgia.us. Bye.